Okay, so I mentioned in the introduction to this video that it would be a little bit more challenging trying to compare the stoves in terms of loading the wood up. So I just need to put a couple things aside so I can give you an idea. So here are the two stoves pre-loaded with wood. You'll notice this time they're, they're stacked horizontally. I don't want to drop any out. They're stacked horizontally because, well, this size wood would fit in vertically into the Lixada it won't in the solo. It comes to the very top and actually extends over the top of the stove. So it gives you an idea the depth difference in the two stoves. Ideally, when you start a fire inside of a wood gasifier stove, it shouldn't really be any higher than the secondary jets around the outside. If it is a little bit higher, it's not a big deal because it'll start to burn down. It's when those secondary jets are allowed to uh, bring the hot air, hot oxygen or hot air, yeah, back into the fire that you'll get the secondary burn at the more efficient working of the stove. So both of these are loaded for a top-down burn with wood loaded horizontally. One thing that should do in comparison with a vertically stack is it should slow the burn down. So I should get a little longer burn time. Maybe not quite so rapid, uh, probably not quite so hot at least to start with as well. So I have not done this with either of these stoves before. I certainly have loaded them with hardwood. Most of the testing that I've done with these two stoves have been in the woods using sticks found on the forest floor or maybe broken dead wood off of uh, old trees. Uh, what I find in doing that is, I mentioned earlier, I can get bigger sticks inside of the Lixada than I can inside of the Solo. Advantage is longer burn time. Disadvantage is sometimes it's a little harder to break them down and you saw them. So it's a matter of weighing it out. Also means they're usually a little drier on the inside if it's been damp outside. It's six of one half and a dozen of the other. It's whatever you have available to you. They both work with the same types of wood. Just a little bit of an advantage to the size of the burn chamber for the Lixada. Now I'm going to assemble the two stoves back together. I'm going to face the feed ports towards you so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm using a very inexpensive commercial fire starter, which is basically a wax impregnated fiber chip paper kind of a thing. Uh, you know, it's not something I carry with me. It's not my favorite stuff, but for backyard testing, it works just fine. I am going to be using wood chips. These are birch wood chips from carving projects that I've done here at home. So I'm going to get a little fire going in the top of each of these. It'll take a second. There, it took a second to get that going. And I am breaking up and adding more fire starter as I go here, just to better ensure that I get a, a good burn going from the top. All right, now that there's a fire starters going, could I get away with just using these fire starters? Probably. I just want to accelerate the process a little bit by getting some wood chips on top. I'm gonna to load those right from the top, hopefully without putting the fires out. Would I do this any differently if I was out in the woods? Well, yeah, of course, I'd be using different materials, but the process would be more or less the same. Get a little fire going on top and let it burn down inside. I'm interesting, interesting comparison right off the top, even though I have used the same amount of fire starter and the same amount of wood chips so far, it seems to be taken off a little faster in the Luxata tower stove. And I believe that has to do with the fact the tower design. I think I mentioned, well, I did mention that in the original testing is that because this is taller, it has a little bit of a rocket stove kind of an effect taking place. You can already see a spiral a flame coming out of it. So it's likely to get ready and for a burn quicker than it would, than the little, than the little solo stove would. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to wait just a few minutes until I can be assured that the, the uh, wood, the main fuel load is fully engaged. Then we'll put the pots of water on and that's when I'll bring you back. Okay, folks, it's been five minutes since I lit the fire starter and wood chips in each of these stoves. You can see I've got a bit of a breeze 
kicking up in the backyard. So once I put the pots of water on the stoves, I am going to have to put a windscreen around them. But uh, I'll make sure the camera's positioned so you can see it. Right now the breeze is coming towards me, so I have to kind of lean back a little bit. So I'll put the pots of water on. One of the things I noticed is I was kind of waiting for these things to really take off, and they have now, just in the last minute or so. But they were a little slow to take off, but I can see inside full gasification, and I'll be able to show you that a little later. So both of them seem to have about the same amount of flame. Now I'm going to put the pot on the Luxata and the pot on the Solo. And, uh, oh yes, got to start the timer, don't I? All right, phone, wake up. Here we go. All right, the phone is started now, so a couple seconds off, but still going to be very close. Um, just as these things get going, I won't make you watch the whole boil time, but just as these things going, uh, just another observation. Uh, actually, I'm making an interesting observation even now about the solar light, but one of the things is the pots. So I went in to fill them with cold tap water, and I noted that the camel well has a 500 milliliter mark, but the solo jumps from 400 to 600. No big deal, obviously not a deal breaker at all. Just a slight advantage goes to the camel wheel because so many of the meals that, uh, like Mountain House or the Happy Yak, the ones that I prefer to use, the Happy Yak meals, most of them call for 500 milliliters of water. So it makes it easy to measure what it is you're going to be using in those meals. And of course, 500 milliliters is two cups of water. So just a slight advantage there. Now again, something else I want to mention before we cut away is the stove designs. Do you know one of the things that, yeah, and it's very true, uh, the solo light stove has in terms of versatility is the fact that you can actually grab the bottom of the stove and move it and it's cool enough. The heat does not seem to, well it doesn't, seem to transfer right down to the bottom of the stove. Now it's warm, but as you can see, I can hold my fingers against the stove. We're going to see if we can do that later as well as the, as the burn works its way down. Can I do that with the Luxata? Actually, it's even a little bit cooler. I'm pulling these back uh, as I do this for a reason so I can get the windscreen around them in a minute. So they both are cool at the bottom. The design of the Solo is a slight advantage, well actually a considerable advantage in one area. It actually has two floors. The very bottom of the stove has a floor built into it and then there's a raised floor about a half an inch, yeah, maybe a little less than a half an inch above that one. Those, that double floor means you can virtually set this stove down on a wooden surface and not have to worry about scorching or lighting fire to the duff of the woods. If, uh, well, you always have to be concerned, but you're less concerned <laughs> than you would be maybe with the Luxata stove. Because as in the original view, or original video, I had shown that there is no floor in the bottom of the Luxata stove. In fact, I had to make one from a piece of aluminum flashing. So hot coals will eventually start dropping down, and you'll see that towards the end of this test. Okay, I think I've mentioned all I want for the now. I will turn the camera off and bring it back when these come to a full boil. Uh, I am not sure if I'm going to have to feed additional wood into these. I suspect not. I certainly hope not. I'd like to think you can get a boil of two cups of water with one load of wood without having to add additional wood. But that's one of the things I'll let you know. All right, I'm going to put the windscreen around this and I'll bring it back when they come to a boil. Okay, this is something I didn't expect to have happen. A uh, little disappointing maybe. I'm just putting my gloves on so you can see this. Actually, it's starting to cut down too. So the water has not come to a boil, but my wood is all but gone, especially in the Solo. I don't know if you can see the difference. The Solo is just about, well, they're both flame out now, but there is more, a little bit of flame still actively coming out of the Luxata, so I am going to have to add a little bit more wood. I say they, they both started with exactly the same amount of wood, pretty much full burn chambers for the way that I, I was able to do this. So as you see, two more for the Luxata. And two more, maybe even a third one. And I can get a third one easily in the Luxata. Can I get a third one? Yeah, smaller one in the other stove. So this is definitely going to affect boil time. I don't have to do anything else now. Those will definitely light right back up. You can see the smoke already. So I am going to put the pots. No, I think I'll leave the pots off. 
Actually, I'm going to put the pots back on, second guess myself, because you can see already the Solo has reignited its wood faster than has the Luxata. Just my first initial guess is that there is better airflow and due to better design in the Solo. Okay, a little breath of air into the Luxata and it lit its wood up as well. So I'm going to put it back on and we'll continue with the timed boil test. Ah, definitely smokier. That's not the way a good wood gas stove is supposed to work. But I think the once the wood gets well ignited, it'll, uh, the smoke will disappear. Once again, I'll bring it back when the boil occurs, hopefully. All right, this didn't take very long. Once the stoves came back to a good burn, rolling boil and rolling boil. Both, what was it, nine minutes, 53 seconds. And that includes the delay with having to refill both of those stoves with wood, wood refill, add a little extra wood. So roll and boil, both of them virtually identical in times. So performance wise, well, the boil is not, boil time is not everything to be mentioned, but it is significant. So we'll take these off. I do have to let them run out. I guess it's not a fair test now to see how long one load of wood lasts because I had to add extra wood. But I do have to let these stoves cool down before we can make any closing comments and that's when I'll bring you back. Actually I just took the pots off the stove and I thought if I can aim this down a little bit closer, see if I can get it in a little bit close. Full wood gasification taking place in both stoves. That's a beautiful sight for those of us who like wood gas stoves because that's exactly the way they're supposed to work. Virtually smokeless, not quite. Actually, interestingly, the tower stove is creating a little bit more smoke. But once again, having added wood to both of the stoves, actually, I'm glad I turned the camera on. You can see that the Solo went through its wood faster than did the Luxata. The Luxata still got a nice burn going. All right, so the, Lux the Solo does go through its wood faster. That's twice we've seen this. And the Luxata does last a little longer. Now I'll let the stoves burn out and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so a few observations and closing thoughts on the Solo light stove and the Lixada tower stove and the combination with their pots. It was interesting as I was waiting for the stoves to cool down uh, after that last video shot, I was watching and the Lexata stove burned at least five minutes longer with good flame before flame out and then some hot coals for a while. In fact, I had to wait quite a bit longer for it to cool down than I did the Solo stove. So what does that mean? Well, I'm thinking that there is better airflow in the Solo stove, not a lot, but a better airflow indicating that it would come to flame faster and you would get a usable flame faster than maybe you did with the Solo or the Luxata stove, but that flame also burns out faster, given the same amount of wood. Now, I know results will vary depending on the wood, the way it's loaded, whether it's a top-down, bottom-up burn, because the two stoves are slightly different in terms of design, as well as the burn chamber have significantly different sizes and dimensions as well. So that's going to have an impact on how long the burn goes. But you saw that twice the Solo stove burned out faster than did the Luxata stove, so I thought that was an interesting observation. What else can I say? Well, I didn't show you, but I have shown you in other videos, the Lixata stove did leave hot coals behind on that patio stone that I have there. Not a lot, but enough. Enough that if I had been on duff or some other combustible surface, I would have had been concerned about that transferring in the duff below and maybe later on coming back as a forest fire. I certainly could have done it and then just drenched it with water, but the whole point of these little stoves is so you don't have to be Okay, I don't want to say don't have to be as cautious because you always have to be cautious, but that the risk is lessened by using these stoves. So if you are going to use the Luxata Tower stove, make sure you either have it on mineral uh, soil, hard rock, or you put something non-combustible under it before you have a fire because it's just the design is... It's probably less expensive to produce. Well, I'm sure it's less expensive to produce, but you want to just make sure that it's safe in when you use it. 
I was interested to see, I knew the solo stove could be handled from the very bottom due to that double floor design. And uh, it was interesting to see I could do exactly the same thing with the Lexata stove. In fact, it was a little easier to pick up because those bottom holes around the outside of it gave me something I could grab onto with my fingers. Let me demonstrate. I did use gloves, but it gave me something a little easier to hold on to, and I wasn't near the burn chamber with my fingers, and I didn't have to worry about burning myself. And it was doable. You could actually hold on to this without burning your fingers like that if you had to move the stove. Not a good practice because you risk, of course, dumping the stove or burning yourself, so you want to make sure that you have it in the place you want it when you go to use it. Sometimes you have to move it, right? So that's why it's nice to be able to know you can move it. Both stoves ran out of the original load of fuel, a little quicker than I would have liked to have seen. I, I've had good performance with both stoves loaded, well, especially the Lexata, because I can load that jam-packed with bigger wood in a, in a vertical fashion and then light a good fire on top so I get a good fire going faster in the Lexata and I can easily boil two cups of water with it without having to reload. Not much longer, but at least I can get it to a, uh, a boil without having to reload the stoves. Both stoves came to a boil in roughly the same time. I think there may have been a one or two second variation, given a little bit of an advantage to the sole, and I mean just a couple of seconds. And both of them, what did I say? I'll have to go back. I think it was right around 9.53, so just short of 10 minutes. Not especially fast, but I did mention that horizontal stack of the wood would slow down the burn. I uh, certainly have had much better performance from the Lexata, again, with a vertical load of wood. What else can I say? I think I mentioned the price, but I just had to double check and make sure. Where's my little sticky note? So as of this morning, when I checked on Amazon Canada and compared the prices, the Solo stove with the 900 milliliter pot was selling for $190 Canadian. That's not a cheap combination when you think about it. The stove alone was $120. When I looked on AliExpress and eBay, both the Camelwell 1.2 liter pot and the Luxata tower stove each sold for right around $20, 1819, 2021, depending on who you buy it from. And again, I'm sure they're much cheaper in the US and maybe in other parts of the world. That's a $40 combination. Is there a comparison to be made here? Uh, for you, for the money. For the money, I own both stoves, I like both stoves. For the money, if I was doing this again, I would go with the Luxata Camelwell combination. It may not have all the refinement of the solo stove, but the performance is definitely there and the price is just unbeatable. There's no question about it. So, do I like both? Am I getting rid of the solo? Of course not. I'm keeping the solo. That's mine. I like it. I love playing with it. But I find that the Camelwell Luxata combination is a much more versatile combination than is the solo. Uh, I'm inviting you now to add any comments in the comments section below what you thought of this test. Maybe you thought I should have done differently. If there was any other factors that I failed to include in this test, because again, this is the best I could do trying to control the circumstances here. I know it wasn't ideal, but it was what I thought was the best I could do. But I'm open to suggestions. Any other videos you'd like to see that are similar to this? Any other combinations of stoves that you'd like to see me uh, compare one against the other? I have a few. Hopefully, hopefully I say, the Titanium Firebox will be out before too long and I'll have, I have my name on the list, hopefully, to purchase that. So uh, that would be exciting. I'm quite look forward, looking forward to that. I have a few more stoves that you have not even seen yet that I am still in the testing phase of that I'll bring to you at a later time. Okay, make sure you don't miss those videos. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you'll be assured that you'll see these videos when they come out. But until then, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.